Hello everyone, and today I would like to show you Will Rogers World Airport recreated one-to-one -one scale in Minecraft. Now when I first started this challenge six weeks ago, one of the first things I looked at was the terrain. I wanted it to be as accurate as possible, so I went to topographical maps. These maps and Google Earth helped me accurately create the airport and the terrain surrounding it. The measuring tool on Google Earth helped me build buildings accurate and to scale. Here's some footage of hangars and buildings around them. What you're looking at right now is the ARFF buildings, and the ARFF is always there in case of any emergencies. I learned a lot from this challenge, and I learned many things about layout, and one of the things was that I did not realize that airports had so much parking, and this challenge helped me realize that. As you can see here, I also learned quite a bit about how lighting works at airports, and this can be shown in this clip right here. Now these lights were wired up by redstone circuitry, which allows them to be turned on and off by things such as a lever. Airport lighting is separated into several categories. Major runways have white lights, while taxiways have usually have blue lights. I was unable to portray the taxiway's blue lights because currently Minecraft's game engine only supports one color of light so far. So what I did was I put blue stained glass over it to give it the appearance of blue lighting. Now next up is the terminal where passengers board and enter their planes. Now this one was fun to build but it was challenging since the entire building is curved which is difficult to do in Minecraft but it was definitely a learning experience and a lot of fun. When you first enter the terminal, there is a ticket counter and then a security checkpoint which has metal detectors and x-ray machines. Next, I'm going to show you some clips of places surrounding the terminal. The platforms you see connected to the aircraft are called boarding bridges, and what they are used for is for passengers to enter and exit the different airplanes. These areas are called gates, and this is where passengers can sit and wait for their planes and eventually board them. And yes, sometimes you have to deal with people like that on airplanes too. Now I'd like to talk about innovations Will Rogers World or Airport could add. The first being solar power. Now, by adding solar panels, it could diversify their energy resources. The next one would be helicopter landing pads, since Will Rogers World Airport does not have designated helicopter landing. Now another innovation is drone detection equipment. An unauthorized drone can pose a safety hazard to all aircraft at an airport. Lastly, I'd like to thank those who held this competition and thank you to the mentors who helped guide it along the way and all the videos. They helped a lot in designing this airport and I learned so much from this challenge. And I hope you all enjoy the airport.